inshallah very quickly and briefly. The second thing I wanted to talk about was respecting other people's privacy. Respecting other people's privacy. I'm just going to ask you flat out. Would you appreciate it if somebody was peeking into your bedroom? Somebody was going through your personal stuff? Somebody picked up your laptop and just started, somebody picked up your cell phone and started going through your pictures and your text messages? Would you, would you appreciate it? That's my privacy. How dare you do that? That's violating my privacy. Would you appreciate if somebody unlocked your iPad, got in and posted from your Twitter account? Of course you wouldn't. You would never like that. You'd never approve of that such behavior. And even more severe, like I'm talking about peeking into your bedroom, into your home, into the most private, intimate moments of your life. You know? I know it's a big jo joke about, and there's all these funny videos online about being a Facebook stalker, right? And creeping on Facebook and things like that. I know it's funny when we see it in a funny parody in a video, but it's no different. It's absolutely no different. You, you, you know, we, we go out of our way, we, you know, we share the little trades, uh, the secrets of the trade. If you go here, then you click that, then you click that, then that, 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 then you can actually see some of their pictures. And whenever Facebook changes like the privacy settings, which for some reason they like to do very, very frequently, all right, whenever they change the privacy settings and things like that, boom, it's time to strike. All right, now the, now's the opportunity. Let's take a look at their personal vacation pictures. Let's find out what somebody was writing on their wall. Let's see who they're friends with, who they're not friends with. And again, this is no different than violating someone's privacy, peeking into their bedroom, no different. I'll even specifically talk about an issue. It's very, very bad. I have a sister, I have a mother, I have a wife, I have two daughters. A lot of sisters who practice hijab, they sometimes have some photographs of themselves without hijab to share with friends and family. And when other people go around and stalking on Facebook and creeping and going around, trying to see their picture some way, so how, how, that's a violation of someone's privacy. That is disrespectful. And you wouldn't want someone to do that, so don't do that yourself. All right, and from, from an Islamic perspective, just two quick things. In the Quran, in Surah Nur, again, Surah 24, ayah number 27, Allah tells us, Ya ladina amanu, O you who believe, La tadkhulu buyutan ghayra buyutikum. Do not enter into homes that are not your house. So don't go in any other house that you don't live in. Hatta tasta'nisu wa tusallimu ala ahliya. Until you first get permission, and then when you step through the door after you've gotten permission, someone's opened the door for you, then it says, tusallimu ala ahliya. Stand at the door and say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Announcing to every inhabitant of the house, by the way, I'm an outsider and I'm stepping into your home. That is how you're supposed to enter into people's homes. And today we're entering into the most private aspects of people's personal lives. And we feel it's all okay because it's on Facebook. Because it's online. It's okay, whatever. And the last thing I'll mention is a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. And subhanAllah, you see the prophetic wisdom. You see the prophetic wisdom. The wisdom of the Prophet ﷺ. It spans, it transcends generations. Generations upon generations. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, this is again a hadith of Bukhari. He narrates that Abu Qasim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet, the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him. He said, if any person peeps at you, if any person peeps at you, like invades your privacy, looks through a crack in your door, looks through the little, you know, the, the, the little opening of your window, kind of peeks through the blinds or the curtain at you and at your private, in your privacy, without your permission, and you poke him with a stick and injure his eye, you will not be blamed. You won't be blamed, meaning you're not accountable for doing that. That was your right to do that. So somebody was peeking into your home and you took a stick and poked. That person was trying to poke you, you poked right back. Right? Facebook poke. Right? So this is the defensive poke. So you take a stick and you poked him right back. And you literally punctured his eye. He's bleeding out of his eye. It's crazy. It's out of control. In an Islamic court, in an Islamic system, when you went to court, you wouldn't have to pay him any money for his medical bills, you would not be punished, you would not be rebuked, no nothing. Why that person was invading your privacy, you were completely within your rights. The Prophet is teaching us wisdom here. When you do that, when you commit such an act, you take, you take away dignity and respect from yourself. That's what happens. 
When you invade and creep and stalk someone and get into their privacy, you've taken away respect from yourself. And you're no longer deserving even the common decency that would be extended to any normal human being. You have no rights anymore. Because you acted like an animal. So you get treated like an animal. And that's the severity of the issue. The last thing, and I'll close at this that I wanted to mention here, is, you know, he mentioned the, fa the social network movie, Mark Zuckerberg and all this, which by the way, you know, I mean, really weird guy. Right? That just shows you like, this was the idea spawned by somebody who couldn't even hold a conversation with a normal human being in public. So that, that just goes to show, shows you a little something. That person needed to exist online. And then the last thing I wanted, that I wanted to mention was simply this. Why was Facebook, what's the purpose of Facebook? Why did he invent Facebook? What was the point of it? <laughs> All right? To facilitate communication. To make communication easy. To facilitate communication. And today Facebook's doing the exact opposite. I, ran, I, went to, I was in Southern California right now with Hafid Wissam and SoCal. And um, I met a brother there, mashallah, very, a great brother. I respect his brother a lot. I've always met him whenever I go down there. He's a volunteer. And I was talking to him and there's another brother, another volunteer, who's his really, really good friend. They're like buddies, they're homies. And I said, I had just been messaged by someone. I had asked someone, where's that other brother? And he said, oh, you know, he got engaged and he's kind of busy and whatnot. I was like, oh, mashallah, subhanAllah, I got engaged. I didn't even know. And so I was talking to this other brother who happens to be his close friend. And I was like, you know that other guy? Brother B, he got married? He got, he got engaged? Mashallah. And he goes, yeah, really interesting story. Um, I, he says that I, was, I called up a couple of friends of mine. I'm like, hey, you guys want to go work out, play some ball? They're like, what do you mean work out and play some ball? Our buddy's getting engaged today. You, where, where have you been? You didn't know our homies getting engaged? In a couple of hours? Get ready, we gotta go. He says, I, wallahi, he says, I didn't even know that this guy was getting engaged. So I get ready, I show up at the party, at the engagement party, and I walk up to him like, dude, we're, we're, we're childhood friends. You don't even tell me that you're, your engagement's today? And he says, no bro, I put it on Facebook, you're not on Facebook, tough luck. And I was like, subhanAllah. Same time. Facebook, inside joke. Very, very bad. No inside jokes in public. So, um, so I, I, I told him, I, I, I just marveled at it. I said, SubhanAllah, Facebook, which was supposed to facilitate communication, is killing communication. So there's lots of t points to take home from today. One specific point I want you to take home today, you probably ran into some friends, some acquaintances, people you haven't seen for a couple of weeks or whatever, and you're normally friends on Facebook with them. When the event ends, I want you to have a 10 minute meaningful conversation and not bring up Facebook even once. Oh, remember that? Remember that I posted that picture? No, no, no pictures, no status. Have a meaningful conversation with a friend. Then when you go home, talk to your brother and sister. Talk to your mom and dad. Make it a goal immediately after today's event to have physical, actual, proper human communication with another person that is important to your life, that is, important, uh, is an important person in your life, and don't just brush it off on Facebook. Don't kill your personal relationships because of Facebook. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.